are with Taylor's bull. It's not your bull. Not my bull. But he's responsible for it. Followed this bull for how long? Uh, we're on three years this year. It's crazy. So anyway, today's the official score day, and it's a freaking monster. It's the biggest bull to ever come off the unit, probably ever will come off the unit. Yeah, I dare say that. So anyway, we got Wyatt scoring it. At least Taylor's asked Wyatt to score it. Um, we're hovering over him a little bit. Why I didn't like it. <laughs> Make them nervous. <laughs> Just teasing, we're not either. But uh, what a giant. These, there's nothing like points like this. You guys can probably get a feel. I mean, I can't even hardly wrap my hand, and I've got big hands. I can't wrap them around these kinds. Disgusting. Just one of them bulls that anybody would want, and uh, world class. So, anyway. Which is sick. I make a heck of a pair of sheds. Yeah. I wonder what they weigh. They're heavy. Um, I want to say last year he was, I want to say 42 pounds. Jeez. For the set? Mm -hmm. 21 pounds a side. And he's quite a bit bigger. Yeah. So, you anyway. gained a lot of mass on that front end. And... Yeah. Pretty awesome. I took the kids out for a ride and we just turned up the bull that, you know, he'd look 360 to 380. And anyway, we went back out, oh, well, maybe a day later, got a little bit of phone scope video of him. And then uh, we went back to go set some cameras on him and we checked him about 45 days later and he was gone. And then uh, didn't turn him up until that following spring showed up on camera that we did not even expect and then ended up getting them on a bunch more cameras that just all the way throughout the unit started wandering and then uh, we hunted him archery and rifle last year mainly lost him and then got a tip on where he was and then this year we kind of set up for that tip and Archery, he did the same thing. He just stayed moving, real hard to keep track of. And we, uh, we've got the muzzleloader tags just for this bull. And it worked out to where he come right in on the muzzy hunt to 77 yards and we put a shot on him, but it didn't kill him. And then six weeks later, um, Stephanie was the one that hit him on the muzzleloader hunt. And then six weeks later, her husband had the late season tag and he was able to put the final, bu final bullet in it. So, it, quite the process. Okay, well, anyway, we just got done scoring this bull, at least Wyatt did, uh, 434 and 4.8s. Gross, 417 and 4.8s, net. But who cares about that? It's just an elk that's about as <laughs> big around as my freaking biceps. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Look at that, it's just sick. You saying you have big biceps? Yeah. Or... <laughs> <laughs> hey, go measure him, Wyatt. <laughs> To the eight. Get your caliber. Let's net him. <laughs> anyway, and he's missing like a 10 to 12 inch tine, so he'd be like, he'd be like 445, 446, 447. Throw on a little extra inch for good measure. One of the best bulls in the state of Utah.